What's going on, YouTube? This is Darklight Dreamer coming at you with another Let's Play. Last time, we returned to Serendale and followed after Needir, trying once again to convince him to join us on our journey through the Frost Caves and to the Last Lands. As we fought through groups of monsters, we discovered that Needir had been in this village all along for the last 20 years, fighting all this time in order to hide a painful truth, that he failed to protect the sacrifice all those years ago. We finally caught up to him along with a member of the Resistance that had run off by himself, and we were able to confirm our theory that we were suddenly attacked by the same Reaper that attacked the Captain and the other members of the Resistance. We barely managed to fight him off, but for some reason he seemed intent on killing the Sacrifice specifically. With the truth now out in the open, able to be seen by all, we returned to Purico where the Captain was up and waiting for us. Even with a dozen or so broken bones, she still told us that she would be willing to accompany us through the Frost Caves, where she told us to meet her when we're ready to continue our journey, which is right now. We head north to the Frost Caves. Finally. That is a big cave mouth, by the way. Like, that's the whole face of the mountain pretty much gone. I wonder if all the caves in this game look like that, but this, that, cave, that mountain is basically missing aside. I don't think that's structurally sound. All right. Finally. Looks like you're ready to go. Um, about that. Here you are, finally! Nidir! Oh, were you really planning on letting an injured woman join the sacrifice on her pilgrimage? You seem to be fine with it! You seem pretty confident in your skills! I just came to see them off. I see. The thing is, though, there's no longer a place for you here in Purika. I told everyone the truth, you see. The time had finally come. You sly dog. So you knew all along, after all. It feels like a great weight's been lifted from my shoulders. Damn it, how'd I end up with such a meddlesome master? Ha, huh, it's me who's been cursed with such a stubborn student. Unable to forgive yourself for failing to protect the sacrifice? You punish yourself by continuing to fight and fight and fight. The regret of having let the sacrifice die keeps you chained to the past. But you won't find the answer you seek by continuing to guard Purika. If there is indeed an answer to be found, you will only find it in the Last Lands. You will only find it once you see the sacrifice's journey through to its end. Isn't that so? Phew, I made it! Hey, it's that guy! You're... You're still my... You're still this village's hero! It doesn't matter if the pilgrimage was a failure or not! You've been protecting all of us all this time! Just like now when you protected me from that man with the scythe! You've been fighting alone, protecting us all! And to think I called you a coward, I'm sorry! It's not just this village, either. You wanted to protect your hometown, too. That's why you stayed here and continued fighting off the monsters. However, I'm afraid holding off the monsters here will no longer suffice. The time has come. <laughs> Nothing gets by you, does it, Master? Besides, I know you're not going to let this young lady fight to save everyone's future by herself. Ah! Oh wow, you made short work of that monster, Jesus. Wow! This is the, the end of your time as this village's hero. Yes, that's right. Let's go off and be heroes of the whole world. Isn't that right, Nidir? Yeah, you're right. But I'll still be here in spirit. I want you to pick up where I left off and keep on protecting the village. I mean, you don't have to, like, be out there and fight, like, all day, every day, like him, but, I mean, you can do what you can. Really, Nidir? You'll come with us? If you want my help, I'll be happy to give it to you. As long as that's alright with you, Darklight. When did I become the party leader? Why are you asking me? I'm glad to have you, though. I mean, you seem pretty strong. Thanks, I promise to protect Setsu no matter, no matter what. We'll take care of things here, don't you worry. And next time you return, you will have finally finished your journey. Meteor joined your party. Uh, I think for now, I'm actually going to stick with Eterna. I like the synergy of our party right now. Who do you want to see in my party, guys? Let me know down below in the comments. Alright, time to fight some monsters, and more of those poison puff things that I hate so very much. The puff puff. Hey, what is up with the delay of that self-destruct? <laughs> like, I killed it, and it waited a good, like, ten seconds, but you know what? I'm gonna blow up. I've decided, this is where it ends. Big Demon Walrus! Cyclone! Oh, it is not nearly as hardy as you would think. That or my powers are just getting stronger. 
Ooh, critical power. I'll take it. They really meant it when they called these this the frost caverns too, or the frost caves, because this whole place is just absolutely covered in ice or is made of ice. Like, I'm surprised I'm not slipping around. There is just the whole floor. Don't breathe on me! I'm glad that seems to have a range. Ooh, you got some rank breath. Low up! I don't like you. Alright. Ooh, what's in here? Provoke! I think that's an ability for Nidir. Yes. I guess Nidir kind of doubles as a tank. I guess he's hardy. He's both strong and hardy. Down here. One of those locked treasure chests. I'm gonna have to come all the way back here to get that. I really don't wanna. I'm being kind of... I'm actually using my abilities kind of a lot here, but I'm just assuming that there's going to be a save point before there's any important boss or anything, so... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. God, your breath really stinks, I'm sure. And I am so glad you haven't poisoned me yet, because I have no idea how many antidotes I have on, my, on hand. Oh, actually? It looks like Setsune did get poisoned, I just didn't notice. Sorry about that, Setsuna. You know I love you. More monsters! This cave, just full of monsters. I mean, I don't mind. I seem to be dropping a lot of materials. I might skip some of this combat. So uh, you guys don't have to watch me fight too much. It gets kind of ha out of hand. Boom. Owie. You have to blow up in my face. Let me heal up. Uh, your MP is kind of suffering. But hopefully I'll be able to replenish it soon. What's down here? Another demon walrus! Awesome. Think. I wonder what in their biology just makes them explosive. And is it voluntary? Do they just decide that this is where their life ends? Why is the music different? Do you notice? Do you guys notice that? I think it's because that owl was one of those. Sometimes you come across these black enemies that have been eating spirit night, and they are stronger than normal. But I kind of punked that owl. Oh, well, fortify experience. Ooh, what's in here? Three fog stones, just in case they get into trouble actually run from very few battles, so it's good that I'm getting... I'm just building up fox stones just in case. If I run from battles, I won't get experience, and then I won't get stronger. And then you guys will laugh at me whenever I die. I hope you guys don't laugh at me. I'm sensitive. A stove asparagus! What makes it a stove asparagus? Specifically, I have no idea. Use these tents. I'm 
assuming there's going to be a boss coming up, so I'm going to save. I'll go over this one. <laughs> Directly after the save point. What the f What the heck is that? It's like a giant turtle monster with a weird mouth. This thing's the reason why the captain didn't want to let you through with just a guard of two. I mean, I'm sure the greater numbers would just make it easier to let the sacrifice escape alone. But if we can't even make it past here, we ain't gonna get anywhere. That thing is fugly. Oh, I guess that's his nose. I guess it's not his mouth. Here it comes! It's just... It's, it's so ugly. First off... I'm gonna use Protect. Gotta get us some buffs. I'm actually, instead of using lightning right away again, I'm gonna see if I can get some momentum going. Ooh, momentum extract time. Boosh. Boom! Light resistance down. I guess that's one of its added bonuses when you use a momentum point or an SP point. Hide and shell. Physical re resistance up, so that means I can probably still hurt it with magic. Oh, huh? I don't know. Try to hit it harder. Oh, I actually that that was bad. Let's not do that. I just told myself that his physical resistance was up. That did a lot of damage. It seems like I can knock him out of that with a buffed lightning spell, so... In the future, good knowledge to have. I'm going to... Uh, aura. Gotta get some people healed up. I need ethers all around. I'm probably going to use a turn of just increasing my MP. Hide in shell. I'm glad I bought those ethers. We are not going to use X Strike right now. Remember, Dark Light, not to do that. Boom! Yep, knocks him right out. One good thing about him hiding in his shell, it gives me an opportunity to get those SP points. Then do more momentum strikes. Oosh. Ah, this thing knows fire and ice. It is a versatile turtle. Kill. That wasn't too bad. A lot easier now that I have an AoE heal, actually. Before I didn't have one. And those area attacks really hurt. Phew, so once we get through here, we'll finally be in, be in Flonea. Finally, she didn't say finally, but that's just how I feel about it. Yeah, that's right. Let's go, we need to make up for lost time. Telling me. Flonea was, was supposed to be our first stop on our journey. We took a really roundabout way to get there. And finally... We exit the Frost Caves. I'm guessing that's Flonea right there. Alright. I think this is a good stopping point. Go ahead and save. Alright, and when we continue on, we will enter Flonea Citadel and see what kind of help we can get there. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button down below. It really helps me out. It really... 
It lets me know that you guys like what I'm doing and gives me some motivation to go on. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, I would love to have you as a member of Dark the Darklight family, and I will hope that we will continue our journey together very soon. Until then, may your dreams light your darkest hour, and I'll see you next time.